think I was going to talk about Stellar Blade again. I thought I was just going to wait for the release of the game, enjoy the gameplay, enjoy the characters, enjoy the story, and have fun. That's what I thought was going to happen, but for whatever reason, Alyssa Mercant, senior editor over at Kotaku, decided to go ahead and release this article talking about Hades 2 and comparing it with Eve from Stellar Blade. And yeah, it pissed a lot of people off. It pissed myself off included because it's just entirely hypocritical. For the past like month and a half or two months or so, they have been complaining about Eve's character design, saying it's overly sexualized and that she's a doll that's been created by someone who has never seen a woman before, despite the fact that it was helped in creation of a woman on the art department and plenty of other women who also work for the studio as well. And also the fact that Eve's body is actually modeled off of an actual South Korean model so you're insulting an actual real model at this point in real life and the article just goes ahead and just talks about the sexiness of Hades 2 characters and this isn't me at all trying to bash Supergiant Games or Hades slash Hades 2 because I played Hades 1 and I thought it was fantastic the art design was amazing the music was awesome the gameplay was excellent and I'm super excited to potentially play Hades 2. I think it's going to be an amazing game. I think it's going to be an amazing roguelike. And, and it's just going to be fantastic. I'm not trying to bash the game at all, but people decided to go ahead and use Hades 2 and its characters as a reason for justifying one type of sexiness and horniness of a character, but saying that this other person this other character's horniness and sexiness is wrong and that's basically what's been going on with char the character of Aphrodite from Hades 2 and Stellar Blades Eve and we'll read a little bit of the article here Hades characters sexiness is woven into their personalities as much a part of them as their wants, needs, and emotions in their bodies. However, scantily clad or salacious are not in motion. They cannot be manipulated or posed or peered at from different angles. Instead, it's like you're looking at a statue or paintings of these gods and their eternal infinite sexiness. There is a desire here, sure, but there is also power, reclamation. There is a longing because you only get a tiny little taste of their beauty. The concept of look but don't touch is incredibly sexy. It's part of why strict clubs, many of which have strict roles on touching the performers are so lucrative so not only in this one paragraph in the article is trying to say that working at a strip club is very empowering even though it does the exact thing that they're complaining about which is objectifying women not to say that there aren't women who do find empowerment in working at the strip clubs and do find enjoyment working there because i've spoken to a couple of women who do work in strip clubs and do enjoy work, that line of work but that's just because that's the type of people they are and that's just what they like to do and there's nothing wrong with that but let's not pretend that these people have complained about strip clubs before and other games like Grand Theft Auto and said that the strip clubs are very objectifying. We... Uh... <laughs> but it's just also funny to me how they talk about how the look but don't touch is very sexy and how it's very... and how they like how the characters aren't in motion and how we're basically looking at artwork at the characters from Hades 2. But then they go ahead and in the next paragraph talk about how Eve is an entirely controllable character who's sexy but doesn't know it. But it's very funny that they mentioned how she's entirely controllable because it's almost like we're playing a fucking video game. And that's the whole point of why we're playing a video game. We want to be able to control the character that we're playing as. And then they also say that she's sexy but doesn't know it. Newsflash, neither do the fucking characters in Hades 2. They don't know that they're sexy either because they're fictional characters. How are they supposed to know that they're sexy? They don't know that they're sexy because they're fake characters who exist within the reality of a video game. The reason why these people think that Aphrodite knows that she's sexy is because of the way that she's written. But that makes sense because she's based off of an actual Greek character in mythology in Greece who is the goddess of love, beauty, pleasure, and procreation, who's also often depicted as being nude. Of course Aphrodite knows that she's sexy because that's how she's always been predicted throughout the entirety of humanity since people discovered ancient Greek, Greek mythology and people started doing their own depictions of the character. She knows that she's sexy because that's how she's always been portrayed as by people who have written her character. And that's exactly what's going on here. The, writing, the writers are writing her as someone who knows that she's sexy because that's how they fucking wrote her. But if you were to talk with... with what the fuck am I even saying? You can't actually talk to Aphrodite and ask her if she knows that she's sexy because she doesn't exist and neither does Eve from Stellar Blade. So of course she's not going to know she's, that she's sexy because she's not real. She's a fake character. And then they also mentioned Bayonetta whose sexiness is folded into her personality and fighting style, which yeah, is true. 
But then that's also ignoring the fact that we had people like Anita Sarkeesian, who for years has been complaining about the objectification and over-sexualization of female characters in media for an extremely long time, and even did that with Bayonetta, saying how her powers make her overly sexualized and objectifies her because she's able to turn her hair into a fucking demon and she fights angels. I don't know, it's so fucking stupid. But then the article continues, it bashes on Eve even more, and it's thirsting over Aphrodite even more. In the next paragraph even, it says, In Hades 2, everyone is horny for each other, and thus it feels far less leery and creepy for us players to be horny for them too. They're, these are sexual people, gods who are infamous for their rampant and often unchecked desires. Aphrodite, goddess of sexual love and beauty, would be naked and have pink hair down to her ass crack. The weary smile she wears on her character photo implies that she knows you're hoping the, that one perfectly placed tendril over her nipple would shift ever so slightly. They're doing the very same thing they're complaining about, which is objectifying Aphrodite. But it's okay because Aphrodite is meant to be objectified. Even though they're doing the very same fucking thing that they're complaining that straight men have been doing to Eve and the character in Stellar Blade and plenty of other fictional characters and video games and other different types of media. It's just so dumb. It's so idiotic. And this also makes me want to mention another tweet that I saw on Twitter a few days ago when this was happening. Uh, this person, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show their name, I'm gonna leave it out. Um, they say, Aphrodite knows she's sexy, we already talked about this, no she doesn't. Uh, you can tell by how she looks at you, Eve doesn't, she's posed but expressionless. Almost like the picture that this, that's used in the tweet, by the way, is for promotion material. To get you interested in maybe checking out more of the game. Continuing, Hades 2 has a wide range of character skin tones, ages, body type, Stellar Blades women seem to only look like Eve. Despite the fact that we've only seen a handful of characters, and also the fact that Stellar Blade and the characters in the game like Eve are based off of the character from Eve from the Bible and Adam and Eve and in the Garden of Eden, so Eve might potentially be one of like the last humans on the planet. Uh, yeah, the same thing with Adam. With, the reason why the women seem to only look like Eve is probably because these are the only people that are left on the planet. So, I mean, that's just speculation on my part because we don't even know what the game's going to be about. We don't even know what the story is going to be about. I have no idea what the story is about. Continuing though, sexy isn't bad. Pretending there's only one type is. And then I decided to go ahead and reply with this pretty amusing picture of uh, Luffy, if I'm being completely honest. And I say, Why are you trying to invalidate one character's sex appeal while praising and lifting up another's? You say there's more than one type of sexy, but then you bash Stellar Blade for being a different kind of sexy. And that's exactly what's going on here. This is what happened in the tweet that I just read out. That's what's happening with this article by Alyssa Mercant. And ultimately, my thoughts are pretty much from this. So I did a quote tweet from, from the Twitter account, Save Dio Click Video Games, and that tweet reads out, This is Rage Bay. It's trying to pit Hades 2, Good Horny, and Stellar Blade, Bad Horny, against each other in an attempt to make you mad. Please don't fall for it. It's not worth discussing why they believe this, because it's just an opinion. You can enjoy two things. And I decided to go ahead and do a quote retweet, and I replied with, Yep, end of the day, both games include fan service for different people. You can enjoy one thing, you can enjoy one and not the other, or enjoy both. This tweet perfectly explains what's going on with Hades 2 and Stellar Blade. And I showed an image that I saw from another tweet. I don't remember where I got it from, but I saw this from someone else. And the image that I posted along with my tweet says, uh, from a quote retweet, and the quote retweet says, The type of fan service in anime slash manga I like left versus the type of fan service I absolutely despise in anime slash manga right. And it shows two pictures of two different anime characters from two different anime that have a different type of fan service for people to enjoy. And someone quote retweeted that, uh, Jobless Matthew or Matthew Schroeder, they reply saying, every single fan service discussion on the site boils down to people being like, my kink, good, based, versus your kink, bad, cringe. And that's just all this fucking is. That's all this discussion is. It's people trying to put their kinks over another and saying why yours is bad, while theirs is good, and it's just a fucking dumbass discussion. I fucking hate it. This is so dumb. I'm swearing a lot. It's a good thing I can't actually monetize my videos because this would be demonetized as shit because I've been saying the fuck word too many times. Uh, 
yeah i i'm so done i'm so done with this drama i'm so done with this discussion i don't understand why this is something that people want to continue talking about i don't understand why people want to continue fucking making articles like this because it does nothing we should be talking about actual topics and discussions in the gaming industry that actually matter but instead of talking about that they instead of want to complain about a video game because of a character's design that doesn't matter they're not going to play the game anyways if you're not going to play the game anyways don't even bother fucking talking about it end of discussion i'm done i'm pissed off that's pretty much it let me know your thoughts about this discussion down below in the in the comments i don't know i'm kind of hated right now i'm not gonna lie uh i need to go calm down <laughs> uh yeah what was i saying <laughs> um leave a comment about this discussion down below i'm super interested to see what you have to say leave a like on the video if you enjoyed subscribe if you want to see more Please turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Drop that